Right, so hello there people, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial with me. So, what we did last tutorial was a Macarator, which um, we shall be using that in a couple more of our tutorials. But today I'm just going to be showing you a quick way how to store your food in cans. So, what we need is, as I said, we will need an advanced circuit, which... Just I'm going to have to get some more rubber. Like I said, I haven't found any more rubber, so I have to get some of that. Um, which one is it now? Which one is it? Is it? What's that? Show it in there. Let's get some rubber done. Um, but we can make an advanced machine block. So what we need is exactly the same as last time 8 refined iron to make a machine block and okay, machine, I forgot how to make a bloody cunning machine um, okay. yeah I forgot I can't press that I can't unless it does that stupid thing I want um, cunning machine, cunning machine, cunning machine cunning machine You need to melt down some tin. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now is melt down some tin. Um, oh my god, this could take a very long time, this tutorial. I thought I had some rubber. Um, let's just have a little wander around. Might as well show you this block. It's um, a new block and it's called. What's it called again? I think it's called Basalt Cobblestone. Now, you only find this when you're close to a volcano, and uh, a volcano's up there for me somewhere. Um, or up there. But it's exactly like cobblestone. Uh, please tell me I've got some coal in one of these furnaces. Oh, bloody hell. Um, got 13 over there. I love that. But if you put that in with a piece of. Coal, it comes basalt, and that is a new block. But it seems like I found some rubber we can get with the tutorial. So, how to make the um, the wiring is pretty simple. Is uh, it's like that, and you get six, and then you just put some rubber inside of it. And we need six of them. Um, we need two redstone, which, like I said last tutorial, I haven't found any redstone because I'm doing these tutorials straight after each other. And we need some refined iron. So, to make an electronic circuit. But what are we mounting it on? Right, so we've got enough tin now. TNT, that's my new best friend at the moment. Uh, way down in my mind, blowing stuff up. But then to do it, you need to make something like a thingy, and this will give you a tin. But you want to put a machine block and then an advanced electronic circuit. Or oh, I think it's the other way around. Or maybe it isn't. Some stuff on this game that really winds me up. Um, let's see. Because I know to make the stuff, it's um, putting it together. I forgot, I keep forgetting how to do it. Right, that's how you do it. I will close. Like that. That makes a cannon machine, but also you need some more iron. Um, sorry, some more tin to make some cans. Now, let's place this down somewhere. Place it down inside. Place it there. So, what this does is, is once again, I'm going to need to get a battery. So, I'll just give us a sec. Can't wait to get onto the power tutorial. No, I'm not sure. Right, 
So what this does, if you put a tin there, and whatever food you want to tin, like bread. And you put it there. can get rid of that. You have three tin can filled with bread. So, say, so that is a handy tutorial because you can stack three at a time. Um, we'll just get some more bread. And we'll. And oh my god, Rosie's not working. Oh well, but oh well. Um, so you know how it works, um, canning machine cans your food, so it's easy to carry around. And the best part is, it's stackable. Hooray! So um, yeah. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please like. Please comment. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in our next tutorial. In our next tutorial.